The Inquisitive Rook. The Inquisitive Rook is a chess piece. He starts the game from his home square A1. On one lazy Sunday, with no chess game in sight, the Inquisitive Rook became very restless and decided to go on a leisurely walk around the chessboard, starting from his home square. His goal, being very curious by nature, was to visit every square of the chessboard and thus reach its furthest corner, the remote 8H square. He did not, however, wish to see any square more than once. In math speak, we call this a tour. The piece visits every square of the chessboard once and only once. During his first walk, the inquisitive rook could not accomplish all he set out to do. Although he reached h8, he missed out on seven squares, from g2 all the way to g8. He tried to improve his strategy the next day, but one square, g8, was again left out of the walk. The rook tried twice more to complete the tour from his home square, a1, to h8, now going in a zigzag pattern, slowly approaching the target square. Despite all this clever strategic thinking, the rook still was unable to finish the tour without visiting the same square twice. Well, if I cannot do it, it is probably because it cannot actually be done, concluded the rook. Surprisingly, a healthy dose of vanity can help with our problem solving skills sometimes. He wasn't called the inquisitive rook for no reason. He decided to investigate this problem on smaller boards. He was shocked to fail on the simplest 2x2 two two board, but cheered up by completing the tour on the 3x3 three three board with ease. The 4x4 four four board again turned out to be an impossible challenge, while navigating the 5x5 five five board was plain sailing. It looks like boards with even sides are impossible to traverse. Hmm, I think I need some help to figure out why, said the inquisitive rook thoughtfully. He asked Baby Rook for help. Baby Rook takes one small step in every move to a neighbouring square. Left, right, up or down. Baby Rook starts from A1, so in the first move she goes to a light square. Also in the third, fifth and seventh move. In fact, it is every odd numbered move the Baby Rook goes to a light square. As Baby Rook alternates colours in every move, each even numbered move takes her to a dark square. On the diagram, odd moves are shown in red colour and even moves in blue colour. In order to complete the tour from A1 to H8, Baby Rook needs to take 63 steps altogether. 63 is an odd number. So the last move takes baby rook to a light square. The final square, h8, however, is a dark square, so baby rook cannot complete the tour. Neither can the inquisitive rook, as his moves can all be broken down to the small steps of baby rook. He, nevertheless, was very proud of himself. He boasted to his friends with mighty statements such as, I have proved that a rook's tour from A1 to H8 is impossible. To help his friends grasp the essence of this proof, the inquisitive rook organised his findings in a table. Next to each board size, he listed the number of squares to visit, the last move and the colour of the last square. If that does not match the colour of the destination square, then the tour cannot be done. For example, on a 7x7 seven seven board, the rook visits 48 squares. The last move is the 48th, which is an even number, so the last visited square is a dark square. The destination square is also a dark square, so there is no reason why the tour couldn't be done. The diagram shows one such tour. Maths is so easy. Just to summarise, our conclusion is that tours from A1 to H8 are impossible. In fact, tours are only possible to light landing squares. A successful tour from A1 to H1 is presented on the diagram.